so hi guys uh, today we are going to discuss like how we can uh, use check-in checkout in Pegasus so check-in checkout is just like how we use it to manage like different development teams that uh, how they can able to uh, maintain the code uh, uh, multi among the multiple developers let's see there uh, there is an option that we can do uh, in in Pegasus so let's see that how we can handle in check-in checkout so when, once we log into this application and uh, as development there they're trying to modify the code or uh, something they do here i mean uh, if they if they're trying to uh, implement the code or trying to modify the code which is already existed so how does it work like so there is a development team one and development team two as well right so when there is a dev one right and where is the developer two so when this developer one want to modify uh, there is customer okay customer profile for example i will take there is a customer profile is the ui they're trying to modify that they want already hold the lock they want is already hold, hold the lock while he's uh, this developer is working on this rule right he's working on on this section then developer needs to uh, check out the tool uh, to work on the section to modify anything here so just like uh, i am the developer suppose this is a rule suppose if you create any rule uh, there the, the rule is already checked in here right so now uh, if the another user log into the application let me trying to log in here So now this user is trying to uh, log into this application as of now they have created one user here let's go to the operator and there i am trying to create one more operator and let i will i will show you this uh, how these two developers can able to work on the same rule and now let's click on save as and create one more operator here there i'm taking as a developer two now click on create and open so here uh, we can give the name as dev2 this day many we just leave it as default let's save it so now we're just trying to log in here as dev2 and password will be the same like i'm using install so now this developer will be logging to the application so now this is the role currently working right the person info is the role that currently developer one is working so now i have already checked out this one right i am already checked out this role so i am trying to do any modification here automatically it will print so let you just trying to do uh, the uh, developer two as well they they want uh, modify the role here right so is it this developer too can able to access the same rule again no so let's go to the application explorer and trying to open the rule so click here expand this class so go to the user interface section and now this click here so now when when i'm trying to check this role i'm trying to modify the role so i couldn't able to access this role here right so there uh, it's showing lock so click here and it is locked by this this user one so i couldn't able to check out so if any of the user if any of the user trying to modify they need to uh, check out and get the access right so there are uh, possible things where it happens of how this check-in checkout so if developer one has log and working on section right so this is the one thing that developer two couldn't able to access to work on that so another thing if the rule is locked right if rule is locked then none of the 
developer can able to modify they cannot able to modify it right so um, so what happened here so when the rule is locked here so right so here it is not locked here it just uh, i mean the rule set is uh, rule set version is not locked but rule is locked i mean uh, with checkout by the uh, developer one so that is why you have to click here and there you can see whether this version is locked or this rule is locked here so now so that is why if you want this developer to want to do any changes here they has to do they, they have the option to private edit so private edit is the one option they can uh, modify the rules and under their private edit only so now click here and this developer to a can also able to modify the changes I mean, they can do the changes in this uh, same section as well but this is not reflect on this version right so who will take the um, who is the developer can able to modify the changes on this 1002 version so only the developer one so because the developer one have the access okay on this section and they have uh, they can able to uh, do the changes on this section so that is why developer to get the access but it is private edit only it not a normal checkout so that is why they cannot do any changes here so whatever the, uh, did the changes in the section they can able to save it and they can run the case and creating the case and they can able to see the changes whatever did uh, whatever did here but it not reflect uh, the uh, changes were not okay uh, impact on this rosette version it's only impact for you so it's only work for you because it's on your private so this is the one thing what is a private edit so private it also you can see whenever the rule is locked suppose i will go to the another version over no one over one version so here you see this is a version is locked here so right so if i'm trying to do anything here so this is locked so if i'm trying to any changes in this version so same thing that I can do, private edit, but I cannot, okay, I cannot save the changes in the version because this version is locked. So that is the one thing. So now let go here and once this developer one, okay, checking this section. So now uh, checking this section and give the comment and checking this rule. Now let go to the developer tool. So now, so once it is checking this role, so then this go to the developer tool and this developer tool, let uh, click on refresh and just discard here. And now, right now you see checkout. So if you want, so it's still showing Checkout is enabled. Yeah, it's showing checkout is enabled. So we can able to work on it. So changes were reflected here, right? So now check out here. And now, as of now, the rule is have the log with developer two. So now, and developer one trying to do any, uh, trying to check out and trying to do any modify, uh, modify this rule. So it's not possible because this rule already check out by the developer two. So just refresh here and you see here it's locked and this developer can only uh, see here private edit so that is what you see here so that is what uh, we need to understand like how this checking checkout will helpful so it's just like uh, there are many developers are working on to the case so what happened if you not follow the chicken checkout so anyone can save it right so developer one uh, they 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 will do the changes and they can save it Develop, meanwhile the same time developer two as well they can do the changes and save it but it will be overnight right so it will be override or uh, developer one changes will be lost when developer two save it when developer one save it developer develop, developer two uh, changes also be lost so this is what uh, the pega gives you this option checking check out that how we use it to manage the rules as a part of this development.